Hello, Electroheads. Are you as excited as I am about the Tesla Model 2? As much as I can't wait to drive the Cybertruck and I dream of trying a Model S Plaid, I think the Model 2 is going to have a bigger positive impact on the world than any electric car made so far. And by the end of this video, you'll know my predictions for the Tesla Model 2 and why I think it's going to be so game-changing. As Tesla continues to develop the car that journalists and us fans have dubbed the Model 2, more information about the car comes to light and it becomes easier to separate mere internet speculation from the well-informed insights coming from those close to Tesla. I've been following the story since well before Battery Day 2020, where we got confirmation from Elon that the car wasn't just a pipe dream and was something Tesla had been working hard on. The Model 2 is the car that will see Elon's EV vision truly brought to life. Back in 2013, when a lot of people in the automotive industry still thought that he was a dreamer with his head in the clouds, Elon said, Tesla is here to stay and keep fighting for the electric revolution. Seven whole years after that, he said it had always been his dream to make an affordable electric car. Elon is fighting this fight because changing the world for the better is what gets him out of bed in the morning. And he knows that to battle our unsustainable global environmental crisis, he has to create electric cars that are accessible to everyone. What's more, he seems to be years ahead of most of the legacy car makers in this regard who are focusing on fairly expensive SUVs. So how's he gonna do it? Here are my predictions for the Tesla Model 2. Prediction one, it will be available as standard without pedals or a steering wheel. Oh, uh, what? Elon has talked about this concept many times in the past and not always necessarily in relation to the Model 2. Anyone who has experienced full self-driving beta in existing Tesla models will know just how good it is. So in another year, by the time the Model 2 goes into production, it could be at a point where no driver input is needed. Sources at a recent company-wide Tesla meeting told Electrek that Elon Musk's employees, do we want to have this car come with a steering wheel and pedals? And Elon's question to his employees does sound like a rhetorical question to me. And my prediction is that Tesla will aim to make this car autonomous as standard, with either no traditional driver input or with a heavily reduced driver input that won't require pedals or a wheel. Well, for one, Elon believes autonomy is safer and more practical, and it's the way he wants to push the automotive industry. Autonomy can also be more energy efficient than driver input, which could be an important factor in maximizing the range of the Model 2, which will have a smaller battery pack than the Model 3. And finally, full autonomy opens up the Model 2 to being available for robo-taxi fleets, but more on that later is a whole other topic that you will want to hear. But now it's time for prediction two. My second prediction is that the Model 2 will have close to 300 miles of range as standard. A lot of commentators are predicting that the entry level range will be 200 to 250 miles. This is based on the Model 2 having half the battery pack of the Model 3, but with the increased battery efficiencies unveiled at Battery Day 2020. But these battery efficiencies were announced a year ago, and by the time the car likely goes into production at the end of 2022, Tesla will undoubtedly have found increased efficiencies and better technologies. Elon has been so vocal about his view that any electric car with less than 250 miles of range is a failure. I just can't see him releasing a car in a year or two's time with that level of range. What's more, the Renault 5 and the VW ID Life will be coming to market shortly after the Model 2 and are expected to be in a similar price range to the Tesla hatchback and are rumored to offer 250 miles of range. There's no way Elon will let his efforts be matched or beaten by the legacy manufacturer like Renault without a fight. I'll smash you. And on this topic, we've actually covered the Model 2 competitors in this video right here. So click the link after you've watched this video. Though, I would quite like to see a fight between Elon and some French people. Elon's got flamethrowers, rockets, and France has got cheese. Really good cheese. I eat all of the cheese. Anyway, I believe even the entry-level model will have a closer to 300 miles of range. And if it does, it will dominate the market. Right then, prediction number three. The Tesla Model 2 won't be called the Tesla Model 2. I get that this one sounds weird given that literally everybody is calling it the Tesla Model 2, but only reason it's been dubbed that way is that it's going to be the baby sister to the Model 3. 
The Model 3 is act oh, just spat. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Salivating over the Model 2, clearly. <laughs> is actually the odd one out in the Tesla range as a numerical, with the other models being named with the letters Y, X and S. If you put all the models together, it spells, well, you know what it spells. Back in 2014, before the Model 3 was released, Tesla had applied for the Model E trademark, hoping to call the Model 3 the Model E. But Ford had also applied for it, and Ford clung onto it while Tesla abandoned it. No! To troll Ford, the Model 3 name was born. It's basically just an E backwards. So there is no reason that the Model 2 will be named the Model 2. My prediction is that it will be called the Cyberhatch. No, wait, the Model 1 or the Musk E tier. Oh God, that's awful. <laughs> Jokes aside, my prediction is that Elon will come up with something nobody predicts. Okay, let's get back on track with prediction four. you'll be able to enter the Model 2 into the gig economy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, fully automated luxury communism. <laughs> get it? Get it? Cole, get it? Huh? Cole, just Google fully automated luxury communism. It's very interesting. You're not an intellectual, you're a fake and a fraud. You stay at home, rent out your car as a robo-taxi and just watch the bucks roll in instead of having 10 kids like in the olden days so that they could work on your farm. You could just buy 10 Tesla Model 2s and pimp them out for work. Elon Musk has confirmed that robo-taxis are a big part of Tesla's plans in the near future. And the fact that he talked about the Model 2 potentially having no steering wheel or pedals has led many people, including myself, to connect the dots. Robo-taxis would be even more justification for Tesla's huge market cap and could push it even higher. In the past, a lot of rumors about a Tesla robo-taxi fleet centered around the fleet being owned and operated by Tesla. But opening up an Uber-style network Network in which owners could enter their cars into the fleet when they're not using them would make a great deal more sense for both Tesla and for Tesla owners. And also for our cities. Tesla could create strong cash flow through pre-orders and sales of the cars and then top up this cash flow each year with robo taxi fares. Here she is again, always stealing my thunder, but she is right. Please do subscribe to the channel because it really does help us grow. Right, on to my last prediction. Prediction number five. It will be the first Tesla that isn't crazy fast. Anyone who's ever driven a Tesla or has been a passenger in a Tesla will have experienced the breakneck acceleration that it can produce. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Flipping <laughs> But I think the Model 2 will have pedestrian speeds by comparison to Tesla's other models. Efficiency is the name of the game when it comes to maximizing the range of the Model 2. And in a car that's truly for the masses, quick acceleration is way less important than range. In fact, in a mass appeal car, you don't really want quick acceleration because most people <laughs> can't drive that well. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Not you though, obviously, you're, you're a great driver. So from one to another, I do ask you to please click that like button because it really does help with our algorithm on this particular topic. Right, I said there would be five predictions, but I'm gonna give you some rapid fire bonus predictions to finish off. The car's environmental impact assessment is underway and it will be available for pre-order next year. You'll be able to kit out the car with optional extras and upgrades like a glass roof or vegan leather. There'll be a more premium version hot hatch made available that has a steering wheel and pedals and has much faster acceleration. Finally, it will have the best global price parity of any Tesla so far, i.e. it won't cost way more in the UK than it does in the US. Right, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like. It really helps the video get shown to other Tesla fans by the YouTube algorithm. And drop me a comment with your predictions, hopes, or fears for the Tesla Model 2. Until next time, take care, Electroheads. Oh,